Uh, g'day guys, what's up? Ready for another vlog. Haven't been doing them lately. Just been a bit busy on the weekends, a bit hungover at times. A little vlog with the Dreamtime game, but uh, yeah, got about three hours sleep that night and thought I'd give that one to Drewzy. But we're back today with a huge clash tonight, unfortunately, at Sunday night. Worst time slot, but the Eagles are taking on the Tigers. Kind of a do or die clash at all. All the Eagles games at the moment feel that way uh, just because of the nature of our season. Dropping that home game to Essendon and Hurts. Um, if we win this, doesn't necessarily mean we, you know, we're back in flag contention. I think it's going to take a lot more than that, but it is kind of an important eight point game considering I think we're still higher than Richmond on the ladder. And obviously, to get you know, a bit of a four point buffer on, on the ladder. That will be quite important. Again, it could be the difference between, you know, six and seven. So not too juicy at the moment, but there is a long way to go in the season. So the hope hasn't completely died yet, but you know, at this point, I'm just trying to take it one week at a time. Some good changes for the Eagles. You got JK back in, Oscar Allen returns to the side. Waterman gets dropped, uh, which I thought I thought was quite interesting as well that uh, we've left Luke Edwards in over Jared Brander. I thought Brand had kind of entrenched himself a little bit in the side. Uh, obviously misses with injury and then comes back and doesn't quite make the cut. Looks like they're happy with Luke Edwards, but that's good to see. It's exciting to see young talent in the side, and I'm quite particularly pleased that Jermaine Jones didn't lose his spot. I think he's, you know, continually gets used as the medical sub and has an impact and then doesn't really get rewarded. And they seem to almost prefer Zach Langdon at times. Don't really see it myself, but both of them are playing tonight. And they hopefully will be a factor because I think it's going to be a little bit drizzly. So I think we're probably one midfielder short tonight. I think it was more confident if we had, you know, one of Shuey or Kelly alongside Yo to sort of spearhead that midfield. It's going to be tough. I know Presti is out for them. Um, we're definitely capable of winning this game. I've tipped Richmond, though, to go conservative, but I'm, I'm actually 0-4 this round on tipping, which absolutely sucks, but I'll happily go 0-5 if the Eagles uh, get the chocolates tonight. So, plan of action is uh, I'm going to go to the gym now. I've been editing a video. Head off to Dad's about 4 o'clock, get a few pre-match predictions, and then we'll head to up the stadium. Dad, how are you feeling about tonight's game? Yet? Well, not all that confident, according to my tipping. I'm yeah. doing, uh, I'm, I went for roughies this week, mm. and uh, I'm none for five so far. And I've tipped the Eagles. <laughs> <laughs> I think North's on the verge of beating GWS. That still might go the other way. But if North do win that, I, like you, am 0 from 5. Because I changed my tip to Gold Coast at the last minute yesterday. Which was really, really dumb. The other thing is, you've tipped West Coast tonight. I've tipped Richmond. So one of us will be 0-6. I see. And I really hope it's me, to be yes. honest. Because I, I hope the Eagles win. But uh, yeah, one of us as well. Um, yes. But are you feeling confident about tonight? I'm not confident, but um, I'm okay. I'm, mm. I think we've got a 50-50 chance. Yeah, I, I think, think we've got a good balanced team. Hopefully no rain tonight. It was going to rain the whole game, and now it's looking like it might rain in the last quarter. It'll so. only rain on our way home, which oh, good. if the Eagles lose, we'll be miserable. Yeah, that's mm. it. All right, let's go to the game.
minutes to go. Oh. back at home after an incredible game. Any, what, what do you even say after a seven um, minute patch like that? No, you can't beat it. It's 2018 <laughs> all over again. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna make, we're gonna win the flag, baby. <laughs> did you, uh, did you think we could win with seven minutes to go and four goals down or whatever no, it was? No, I didn't. No, I had I, written I was off. about one minute to go before I was convinced we we're gonna win. Yeah, I think uh, t we were talking about it on the train, but yo, dug deep. Yeah. Nat Nui dug deep, yeah, absolutely monstered Richmond. Richmond yep. just couldn't match it. That was the most courageous Eagles effort I've seen yep. in a long yep. time. So. Brilliant, brilliant idea putting Yo in in the last five minutes, and it's just incredible. Yeah, yeah, really for the year. Them. Can you imagine when he's at 100% for? Oh, no. oh my god, no, he's yeah. getting there. Yeah, JK obviously the man of the moment yep. as well. Yep. So yeah, yep. bloody awesome. So awesome. Uh, thanks, Dad, for starring yeah, in you're another welcome. one. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Go we'll, Eagles. We'll see you the next one. Thank God I vlogged this, and I'll see you the next video. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> <sighs> it's Monday morning. The Eagles are gonna win the flag, and I'm literally never going to die. Just edited the vlog last night, sat up late, so, so exhausted, really paid for it this morning. Didn't even have a drink, I think I had one beer afterwards to celebrate the win, but I'm actually just tired from getting out this vlog, but felt like at the end there, I just felt like there was a little bit more to say. I cannot believe the heart of that team to overcome Richmond who were playing really, really well. Such a dangerous team in the second half of the year. The game was done, the game was buried. We were a poor fourth quarter side. We're not really renowned for sort of turning it on the last five minutes to win the game. To do that in the way that we did was just unbelievable. I think I made the comment after the Essendon loss, you know, sort of taking a look at where we're at and whether or not, you know, we're still a chance for the flag. I sort of put myself in the column of probably not. Probably not. But I did make the comment as well that, you know, Eagles games aren't, haven't been as enjoyable lately. You get the odd one each year, but there's so much pressure and expectation that it's really hard to enjoy, you know, home games like that. And I, I sound like a really 
ungrateful Eagles fan. I don't mean that in the slightest. I really, you know, I love watching the Eagles play. They're so entertaining. And, you know, they, they give the rule just about every week. So I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I just think with the expectation that's on the Eagles every week, it does make it hard to really enjoy the wins. But here we are like 14 days after making that video and the Eagles just produced probably the best and most enjoyable win I've seen outside of the finals. I think just the gritty nature of it, you know, I don't, I don't even feel like Richmond laps too much. I think their fans are saying they sort of ran out of tickets and maybe that's partly true, but just chucking Elliot Yo in the guts there, him and Nat Nui just monstering every clearance. Josh Kennedy's goals as I edited the vlog and just uh, frankly the whole team this set shot kicking was absolutely phenomenal. I made the point that, you know, it's not sustainable being, you know, we're the most like efficient team in the 450 generating scores from the limited supply that we get. But they just keep doing it week to week and it's incredible. I mean, you look at Geelong's forward line. Yes, that is the best forward line in the comp because they've got Jeremy Cameron, Tom Hawkins on top of Rowan, Dangerfield, Myers and all that. I, I, I can accept that. But this team needs to be acknowledged for just, well, this forward line specifically needs to be acknowledged for how dangerous and damaging it is. And it's definitely won us a few games, including last night. Thankfully, overall, I think we might've won the inside 50 count. Um, we had more scoring shots. So, you know, as the story would tell, it wasn't just a case of us being slightly more efficient. We generally won most of the important stats throughout the game. So that's really pleasing. To be honest, I'm not even, I'm not even thinking about, you know, ooh, top four maybe, you know, cause this was a game I always thought we could win um, even prior to the Essendon loss. And, but, you know, like the excitement's back. I'm just so, so grateful, so pleased, so happy. Um, that is, I think that just supersedes William Ryan's mark of the year to just about win the game against Melbourne in 2019. This tops that. This was, that was a monstrous effort. And Josh Kennedy, that is one of the best games of his career. I'm a strangely emotional man this morning. It feels really good. I don't want to get bogged down into, you know, ladder predictors or anything like that. Just soaking up the win. Good time for the bye. The Eagles get some players back. Shuey, maybe Kelly, McGovern, Shep will be back, hopefully, for that clash as well. Who knows? But let's enjoy the bye. That was an amazing win. Thank you so much for watching this. Thank you so much for jumping on the channel in general lately. Can't wait to talk about this on the Drew Footy Show later today on Drew's channel, so go check that out. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.